Right, so today, people, we are doing a little editing tutorial on how to add extra motion blur to your panning shots after you've taken the photo. So you're gonna turn a photo that looks like this into a photo that looks more like this. And it's actually really easy, it doesn't take too long. So let's get straight into it. I've got this cool photo here of a McLaren taken at Goodwood. Um, I'm not gonna waste too much time editing it, I'm literally just gonna dump on my preset because there we are, that's literally perfect already. Um, before and after. Preset pack is available on my website now, by the way. Go check that out, arthurj.co.uk. Um, then we're gonna open it up into Photoshop. Wait for that to load. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the car out of the photo and add some motion blur into the shot. And you're probably wondering why you're gonna wanna do that. I will explain that in just a moment, as soon as Photoshop loads. Here it is, loaded. Let me dump that over here. Right, so we've got this photo here. First thing I like to do is make a couple of layers so you're not working on one layer. So I'm actually gonna click Control or Command J, I believe it is on Mac. Click that twice. And so we're gonna have the background layer, which is this one here, and we're gonna have the car layer. So let's just rename this one here, car, just so we know what it is that we're doing. Where's the rename part? Don't really ever use that, but just for ease of use, we're just gonna call this one car, and then we're gonna rename this one as background. Right, so on the background layer, really nice and easy, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use the AI or clone stamp, whatever it is that you've got to remove this car. So I'm just gonna see if generator fill works. It doesn't need to be that perfect because what we're gonna actually do is add more bl uh, motion blur into the shot. So all the little kind of blending lines that you can see, doesn't matter, you won't see it anyway. And the act there's actually gonna be a car back over the top of this anyway. Um, there we are, that is actually pretty much spot on. That's pretty much perfect. Let's just, don't know what that is, go away. Um, right, so we've now got this layer here. We're gonna blend this, we're gonna blend this generative fill to the background layer. We're gonna make that into one layer here. So we're just gonna merge that. Now we've got this new background layer. Now what we're gonna do is go into filter, which is at the top. It's actually cut off of my recording. So you just have to trust me on that. Go to filter and then click, go down to the blur gallery. And we are going to want, Actually, you know, it's this one here. We're going to want to go to blur and then add motion blur in. You're gonna get this little tab come up. The more you add, the more blur it is. I'm gonna go quite extreme for this example, just to kind of show you, because I wouldn't usually go this crazy, but you know what, it might work. So let's do that. Now we've got this really blurry background, but there's no car in it. This is the fun part. We're going to add a mask, go down to the bottom here and we're going to, we've got black and white. We're gonna add the pen tool, and we've got the two black and white colors selected, and then we can just simply draw over, make this a bit bigger, simply draw over where you want the car to be. And there you have it, you've now got this car in the shot, it's pretty sharp considering the speed that it was going at, and you've added a hell of a lot more motion blur into your shot. So getting a shot like this in camera is incredibly difficult because you'll have to go so slow that the likelihood of you actually getting the car in focus is just incredibly difficult. It's not impossible, but it is difficult. So this is an alternative way of doing it afterwards and it's really easy. You don't have to add any motion blur into the tires because the wheels are already moving. So there it is, that is pretty much done, nice and simple. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below, go and message me on Instagram, go check out my photos on Instagram, follow, like, all of that good stuff. I'm still working out how to do outros, as you can probably tell, but thank you for watching this video, and hopefully I will see you in another one pretty soon. Take care.